The current in a certain circuit is measured by an ammeter and is a continuous random variable with the following probability density function. So f of x is equal to 0 0.075x plus 0.2. And this exists from 3 to 5, where if it is anywhere else, the probability is 0. So the first thing we want to do is we want to verify that the total area under the curve is equal to 1. And the way that we do this is we simply so this is for A, we integrate from the lower bound up to the upper bound over the PDF with respect to X. And so if we integrate this function, this is 0.075X squared over 2 plus 0.2X. And if we take the expression from 3 to 5, we'll find we get 0.075 over 2 times 5 squared plus 0 0.2 times 5 minus 0 0.075 over 2 3 squared plus 0 0.2 times 3. And this should be in brackets. We're subtracting all of that off. Okay, so then what do we get from these, ex these values? This then is equal to 0 0.9 375 plus 0.2 times 5 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.075 times or divided by 2 times 3 squared is equal to 0 0.3375 and if we multiply through this negative sign we get this to be a subtraction so minus 0.2 times 3 which is 0 0.6 so if we add all of these together we find that this is equal to 1 so yes this is a true probability density function in that the area under the entire curve is equal to 1 within the bounds alright so the second question asks calculate the probability x is less than 4 so this is the probability that x is less than 4 this is how we denote this and we can find this by integrating from our lower bound up to our value of interest. So that is, of course, in this case, 4. Scroll up a little bit. And this is then equal to 0.075x plus 0.2dx. If we integrate this function, we again get 0 0.7. 5x squared over 2 plus 0.2x. Evaluate this from 3 to 4. This is equal to 0.0754 squared over 2 plus 0.2 times 4 minus 0.075 over 2, 3 squared plus and again put these in brackets, plus 0 0.2 times 3. All right. So then these, these expressions are equal to 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3375 minus 0 0.6. So this is all then equal, if we add these up, to 0 0.4625. That means the likelihood that x is less than 4 is equal to 0.4625. All right, so now we want to know, if we scroll back up, it says calculate the probability x is greater than 4. So how can we find that? Well, actually, we don't need to integrate this time because we've already found the probability that x is less than 4. So the probability that x is greater than 4 is simply equal to 1 minus the probability x is less than 4. And this is called the complement. And so this is then equal to 1 minus 0 0.4625 what we found up here in this problem. And this then is equal to 0 0.5375. So the chance that x is greater than 4 is simply just equal to 0 0.5375. All right, and lastly, what if we want to find the probability, this here, so D, calculate the probability x is between 3.5 and 4. 
So in notation, this is 3.5 less than x less than 4. And so this is simply equal to integrating over the bounds we're interested in. So 3.5 up to 4 of our PDF, which is 0.075x plus 0 0.2 with respect to dx, or respect to x. This is then equal to 0.075x squared over 2 plus 0.2x from 3.5 up to 4. If we evaluate the expression at our bounds, then we get 0.0754 squared all over 2 plus 0.2 times 4 minus 0.075 3 squared over 2 minus 0 0.2 times 3. Or excuse me, right here, this is 3.5. These are our lower bound. So 3.5 squared, little mistake there, 0 0.2 times 3.5. That's easily fixed. All right, so plug that in. And so what do we get for that expression? Well, if we plug in these values to a calculator or calculate it by hand, we find that 0.075 um, over 2 times 4 squared is equal to 0 0.6. This is then equal to 0 0.8 minus 0 0.4594 minus 0 0.7. So if we add those values together, we get 0 0.2406. And that is the probability that x is between 3.5 and 4. Now it's always important if you're trying to kind of go back to the context of the problem, remember what x is. x is the current in a particular circuit. And so that means that the likelihood that the current is between 3.5 and 4 is equal to, scroll back down, or 0.2406. All right, hopefully this video helped you understand how to do a continuous random variable problem.